Every year, thousands of young men and women will be pushed physically, mentally and emotionally. It's all to earn the title as a United States Marine. A cameraman and myself traveled to Marine Corps Recruiting Depot San Diego for a taste of Marine Boot Camp. And the five days that we were there, we found out firsthand why few can proudly say they are U.S. Marine. Tonight, we introduce you to the men responsible for shaping young recruits into a Marine. When everybody's thinking the same thing, which is, this was a huge mistake. I know it was a huge mistake. No! 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 I answer! Get Obviously, we greet them in the nicest manner possible. Let them know exactly where they are. Like you're not home anymore. This is the Marine Corps. We're going to do what we say, when we say, and how we say to do it. We'll take them inside to the contraband room, which there we'll go over what they're allowed to and not have. This new, everything's crazy. You're screaming everywhere. Call it a rude awakening. No, I'll do it for you, because you can't pull up straight through a hole, because it's too hard. The first 10 minutes of boot camp sets the tone for the next three months. So you will do what we say the way we say to do it, and if not, then you'll get back and do it again and again and again until you do it the right way. So accept the letter in two to three weeks. I love you. Goodbye. One final call home, and life as they know it is cut off. My role is to change them from civilian to a recruit. Teach them basic military courtesies. The long week of processing ends in another awakening. Meeting their company drill instructors. First time they meet us, they are very scared. It is our mission to train each and every one of you to become a United States Marine. The men they'll spend the next 12 weeks with. When they um, first meet us, they're, they're probably thinking, oh crap, what am I doing? For the next three months, drill instructors are tasked with teaching each of these recruits what it takes to become a Marine. It is also our responsibility to have full accountability of all recruits and as well as maintaining their welfare. I'm that big role model, that big brother. I'm there to mentor them, um, guide them through any challenges. You as a crew, you strive to be, to be just like them. The way they walk, the way they talk. That's what you want to be. They're the Marine Corps' top-notch Marines. Odessa recruit Jason Salcedo was in the last phase of recruit training. He says the person he is today is different from the person he was just 10 weeks ago. I came here a 20 year old kid, college student, not responsible really, had my parents paying for me. I was spoiled and I, I realized one day that I needed to grow up and I feel like I'm growing up to be a man and my drill instructors have so much to, uh, to do with that. He says as much dedication as it takes to be a recruit, it takes that plus more to be a drill instructor. You, you look at them and you, you will not quit. You're not going to quit. They give, you, they give you so much motivation. Twelve weeks of hard work leads up to this. Graduation. It was rewarding to see the young man that I got 12 weeks ago. The transformation from a young boy to an actual man now. It will bring some tears to some drums of eyes. Recruits say boot camp is the hardest thing they've ever done. But it's that way for a reason. It's so that they can be the few, the proud, the Marines.